Well, according to new research, the daily grind is getting us down. 74% of Aussies suffer from work-related stress and the loss in productivity and days off is the result. Costs, it costs businesses $10 billion a year. But there are ways to beat your workday blues and to improve your 9 to 5 mood. For more on this, we are joined by Tim Sharp from the Happiness Institute. Now, Tim is otherwise known as Dr. Happy. Welcome to the show. Thank you. As Ryan said, 74% of Aussies are suffering from work-related stress. That's almost three quarters of us doing it tough. What kind of impact does that have on our outside life? Yeah, look, I'd probably like to start by saying that not all stress is bad. Um, stress up to a certain point can be motivating, it arouses us to perform better. Uh, but clearly once it gets beyond a certain point it can have a significant impact on our mental and physical health. Um, and I guess once it starts to affect our mood and our sleep it can then affect our relationships, it can affect our concentration and attention and quite literally every aspect of our life if it goes beyond that point where we're, where we're not managing it anymore. Yeah, so what are some of the ways we can combat stress? Uh, look, I suppose that there's a lot of things and everyone's different, but um, I'm very involved in a, a charity that, that does a lot of work with mental health in young people, a group called Batir, and, and there's two things I've learned from them. They go into schools and, and, and say, you know, two messages at least. One, it's okay not to be okay all the time, mm. and it's okay to ask for help. So talking about it is a great start. Uh, but then there's all sorts of other things. I mean, exercise is a fantastic stress buster. Uh, there's a whole range of relaxation and meditation strategies. Uh, eating well is important. Having time off incorporating positive things into our day there's all sorts of things we can build around our daily or weekly routines to ensure that we keep stress below that point mm. let's talk about what we can do in uh, the workplace let's go mm. through some of the I guess the better things that you can do if you're at your desk what could you do yeah, well get up from the desk every now and then um, we've all probably not heard us. that uh, <laughs> not right now not, 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 not you Ryan that's not us yeah. Yeah. but I think we've probably all heard that saying that's been said for a few years now which is that sitting's the new smoking mm. too many of us spend too much time I'm seated in front of a computer. Uh, now we need to do that obviously but getting up, moving around, it doesn't have to be formal exercise, although that's great, but just go for a walk around the block, change your routine, um, making good, uh, building positive relationships in the workplace, so having friends in the workplace mm -hmm. is important for those little chats to, to break up the routine and, and again having fun, I think a lot of workplaces see fun as a time wasting activity when in fact it can be energising and if we can bring some fun and positivity into our day we're more likely to be productive when we get back to the desk. So I normally have my lunch break just at my desk. Yes. Would you recommend to sort of get out and about? What's the tips there? Uh, look, we've all, it depends on your routine, I guess, and we all need to find what works for us individually. But, but as a general rule, yes. Um, well, there's two things. One, when we have our lunch, we should eat it mindfully. So rather than rushing it and still looking at the screen. So it should actually take at least a few minutes to sit. This is just good for healthy mm. living generally. Uh, but yes, we should get up um, and at least have a break for lunch. It doesn't have to be an hour, but even a um, you know, five-minute walk on the block. Fresh air is really good for us. Movement's really good for us. Uh, maybe having a chat, going for a walk with a colleague or um, meeting up with a friend. All of those things mm. can be very beneficial. Speaking of lunch, can what you eat affect your mood? Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, we're... You know, I guess we think about stress as a psychological phenomenon, which mm. it is, but it's also physical. You know, and these bodies in which we live are very important. We sometimes forget about that. We, some of us spend too much time just in our heads. Um, so, you know, just like exercise, exercise is important, diet's important. That's the fuel that makes these machines work. So, as a general rule, the, the, the healthier we are, uh, the happier we'll be, and the, the better that we'll cope with stresses. Um, obviously, the workplace can be very stressful for a number of reasons. So, you know, w what are some ways to keep calm when you're at work? Do you think? Yeah. Well, look, look as again, I think one of the simplest, um, but very potentially very effective ones, is, is various forms of meditation and relaxation. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people think about. Um, you know, sitting in a cave in the Himalayas or, or sitting cross-legged in the lotus position for hours on end. If you want to do that, that's fine. But you don't have to do it like that. And there are some very simple practical tools or ways of meditating that we can do in the office just for a couple of minutes here or there. Uh, as it says on screen, some music can be very uplifting or, or stress-busting. You know, stress uh, natural light has been shown to be good. So if you, if you do have natural light in your office, that's great. If you don't, get outside when you can and also uh, interestingly having green plants around the office so, mm. so little things around the physical environment can be very useful True. as well. Terrific. Dr. Happy, I thank you. I feel less stressed just, just talking <laughs> to just Dr. Talking Happy. About it. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs>